Well, the cold here in Minnesota isn't all bad. We know how to handle frigid temperatures. Some even welcome them. Morgan Wolf is live in St. Paul where people are doing just that at the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Hi, Morgan. Oh, yes, Jane, you know, we love any time that we can spend some time in St. Paul and this cold weather really created the perfect canvas for these ice sculptures. Is this the top? No, that's the wheel, the okay. bottom, the wheel being the middle here. Creativity takes courage. Oh my goodness. Especially when you're sawing these. Terry <laughs> Reese. Getting too old for this stuff, I'm 65. Has been competing in the St. Paul ice sculpting event at the Winter Carnival for 35 years. I'm a chef by trade. So I grew up, you know, did 70s and 80s doing ice carvings for buffets. From buffets to ice sculpting entrepreneurs. We come together to celebrate winter. This activity needs the cold. We'll take this all day. But if it's too chilly outside, you can find Minnesotans doing a different activity on ice. Started last night at 7, and we'll be done tomorrow night at 7. Mother Nature flexing her frigid temps has drawn flamingo dancers and robots to the capital city. Every day is a big day in St. Paul. Artwork frozen. Embrace it. For now. It'll be cold tomorrow. This is perfect. This is awesome. So if being outside this weekend isn't really your thing, the, all the indoor arenas across the metro do have opportunities for you to skate inside if you want to find one close to you. But if you do come down to the Winter Carnival, know that they have a warming tent. They have food and beverages for you all to enjoy here. And tonight the royalty is being announced. So the king and queen will be around. Look at these people waving. And we still have a lot of these artists hard at work. So much fun. Thanks for joining us guys. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Morgan.